The Hulk is traveling the interdimensional portals to find other versions of himself. That was not the plan. The plan was to originally just leave Earth, but now he's in this dilemma, exploring a universe vastly different from his own. This is going to be entertaining, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this video, because I enjoyed making it. From where we left off, the Hulk is in another universe, and he gets to meet another Bruce Banner, who for some reason is shocked to see him. We start off this comic with seeing a glimpse of what happened in El Paso before the events of this comic. Corpses. Every single panel was filled to the brim with corpses. Something had taken place here. Something Bruce was ashamed of. Maybe the Hulk went on a rampage. Maybe he was fighting a monster. But in result, everyone was dead in this city. Bruce was physically distraught. He was ashamed. He was scared. How could he do this? How could the Hulk do this? Asking the Hulk, I thought we were partners, but this wasn't the Hulk. This was definitely a Hulk, but we aren't sure if this was his Hulk because this monster smiled and said, I did this because you are weak, boy. And he squashed his head like a freaking grapefruit. But this was clearly in his mind because back in reality, we see Bruce waking up with flashlights being flashed in his face. The other Bruce was clearly scanning him and our Bruce clearly didn't like that. So he broke the scanner, picking him up and asked him, talk, explain yourself. Parallel Bruce smiled and said, I didn't expect an abomination to have the strength or the capacity to speak. This angered our Bruce, looking at him and said, what the hell did you just call me? Parallel Bruce must have sensed that our Bruce was on timing because he changed his speech and said, I apologize. Our Bruce introduced himself. I am Bruce Banner. Some people call me the Hulk. Now, let's exchange some notes. But before that, he had to turn off the engine because apparently the engine was overheating, meaning the Hulk was still fighting the Kaiju Wolverine. And it was insane because he had beaten him so many times, Wolverine was now a corpse. So Bruce pulled down the lever back to level 2 and we see Wolverine was crying. <laughs> the Hulk had battered him up so bad, he was using his own claw to kill him. And when the Hulk was done, he looked up and said, You, you cannot keep me caged up here forever, Banner. I promise when I'm out, but before he could finish his sentence, someone interrupted him. The same shadowy figure that tormented Bruce was standing, calling out to the Hulk. The Hulk tried to catch him, but he couldn't. The Hulk shouted, come back, please. Clearly distraught, the Hulk didn't want to be in this place. He shouted, please come back. Back with the Bruce's though, we see both of them comparing each other's history. Bruce was explaining that his gamma bomb went off, giving him this power, this Hulk power. And the other Bruce listened. Even if his story was boring, he still gave our Bruce the opportunity to explain his own history. But we see how different this parallel Bruce was, because in his world, everything went the opposite way. Yes, the bomb testing was a success. He thought he has unlocked a new chain of power that the planet Earth could use for an eternity. But no, they weaponized it, killing their world. And because of this action, all of the Earth was destroyed. We see that these two Bruces have things in common. Both of them are trying to atone for the chaos they have caused. But everything wasn't rosy. This man had called Bruce an abomination. Clearly, he had seen a Hulk before. This is when Parallel Bruce explained that because of his explosions, monsters were created. And the only monsters that could come from gamma explosions are Hulks. So this machine he created, this machine that pulled Bruce from the intergalactic portal, was a machine created to kill Hulks, to kill the Hulk's kind, people that were never chosen, 
people that didn't even want to become the Hulk, like Bruce himself, that were just caught in the crossfire and were exposed, were about to be killed. But Parallel Bruce made it clear that he never planned to kill anybody. He wanted to use it to find a cure, but the Hulk wasn't listening. Who is in charge? Who caused the death of your world? This is when we find out that at this moment, the person leading this charge to kill all the Hulks was always the same in a multiverse. General Thunderbolt Ross, his father-in-law, who in this world apparently is the president of the United States of America. <laughs> the next issue is going to blow you guys' mind. So stick with it. And thank you. Like and subscribe and share. God bless.